Hey guys, this is Nick from Nick's Tech Guides, and uh, this is going to be my first YouTube video, and uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how you can SSH into your iPhone or iPod Touch, so let's get started. One thing I forgot to mention is I'm doing this on Windows, but I believe it's like the same process on Mac, it's just you're going to have to find a SSH client yourself because I don't have a Mac, so I don't have a Mac SSH client. And I believe that's the only difference. The first thing you're going to want to do is go on your iPhone or iPod Touch. And um, your it has to be jailbroken in order to do this. So if you're not jailbroken, you can't do this. Um, but anyway, you're going to want to go to Cydia. And wait for it to load. Okay. Once Cydia loads, you want to go to search and then in the search bar, type in toggle. T O G G L E. And then S S H. And it should be the first one, and it will look something like that. Hopefully you can see that. It just says toggle SSH. Okay, and uh, you want to go and install that. And the next thing you're going to want to download is called Open SS. H, all one word. Okay, and it should look something like that. Okay. Um, once you've installed those, um, I'll show you what to do from your computer. Alright, so once you've done everything up to this point in the video, you're going to want to go to the link in the description below and a download should pop up it'll say do you want to download this file just save it somewhere on your computer it might not look exactly like mine but it should look pretty similar depending on what browser you're using and if it does not pop up click on direct link right here and after you've downloaded that you can exit this and go to the folder or wherever you save the setup file for this program. So it's going to be called WinSCP427 Setup. So you're going to want to double click that. And here it is. And select your language. I'm going to pick English, obviously. And it would pop up here. Here it is. And just go through the install process. It's really easy. You might have to restart your computer at the end. I don't quite remember but yeah I'm not gonna do that because I already got it got it installed and that'd be no point in reinstalling it so I'm just gonna hit cancel but you guys gotta click next and go through all the steps so once you're finished um, installing that you're gonna want to you're, you're gonna have this program called WinSCP in on your desktop or it might be in your programs list or wherever I got it on my desktop so you're just going to want to open that up and click on new right here in the top right corner and for host name I'm going to show you how to get that in a few minutes you, you need your iPod touch or iPhone to get that for username you're going to want to write root R O O T password alpine A L P I N E and now I got to switch over to the iPhone or iPod Touch to show you how to get the root host name. So just, I'll be back. Alright, so you're going to want to go back on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, go into your settings. And then click on Wi-Fi. 
and you have to be connected to a wireless network and as you can see right beside my wireless network there is a little blue arrow you're going to want to click that blue arrow and I'm going to take it out of the screen here because I don't want to show you my IP address Okay. and as you can see right there where it see how it says IP address you're going to want to type that in to where it says host name on your computer so I'm going to go back onto the computer and I'll show you what to do from there alright so once you've uh, typed in your IP address into the host name bar you're going to want to click save right down here at the bottom and once you click save it's going to come up with this and it just you can name it whatever you want I named it iPod Touch 2G because that's it's my iPod Touch 2G so once you name it wherever you want you can you just click OK and then um, I'm gonna go back to the iPod and show you what to do from there alright so on your iPhone or iPod Touch you're gonna wanna go onto your home screen and then you should have a new icon that looks like this one right there see the fish with a, like a briefcase it says toggle SSH in, underneath it and click on that and all you're going to want to do is hit enable and that's it alright so once you enable the, the toggle SSH on your iPhone or iPod touch go back onto WinSCP select it, your device that you just uh, created the thing for and then hit login right here it might ask for your password but it might not so if it does just type in Alpine because that's the password hit OK and now as you can see I your SSH into your iPhone or iPod touch alright so that's how you SSH into an iPhone or iPod touch if this video helped you out uh, please like this video by clicking the thumbs up button right here and subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button up top um, I'm going to have a lot more tutorials coming um, if you have any suggestions for tutorials just leave them in the comments below or on any of my videos or on my channel and if you have any questions about this video or this tutorial just uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you um, so that's it. Thanks for watching.